So far, we have looked at how data flows from the source where it is collected all the way to the historian where it is stored. In the last video, we talked about how the view service acts as the gateway between the historian and the connecting clients. In this video, we will cover those client tools that Canary offers to access the data for reporting purposes. Canary offers five different avenues for consuming its data. Axiom, the Excel add-in, ODBC, a read API, and the publisher. Each client, with the exception of the publisher, can return raw or processed data using one of Canary's 40 aggregates. The publisher can only send raw data in real time. Let's take a look at Axiom first. Axiom is a web-based application built using HTML5. Users can access it by typing in the name or IP address of the Canary server in a modern browser where the Axiom service is installed. In most cases, this is the same machine as the historian. There are two sides to Axiom, charts and applications. Charts allow the user to trend current and historical data over a given period of time. The user can set limits, link tags, and add annotations. Applications, also known as dashboards, are very similar to HMI screens that allow the user to drop in various gauges and controls for their displays. Unlike HMIs though, Axiom is for reading only and is not designed for control purposes. Axiom makes use of assets that are defined in a virtual view that allow the user to build applications around specific asset types. This makes for efficient report building. Once an application or chart is created, it can then be used to make automated reports where users are sent a PDF screen capture of the specified application at designated times. The next Canary client tool we will look at is the Excel add-in. The Excel add-in is installed on the client's machine and pointed to the Canary server where the view service is installed. The user can create Excel reports that return raw or processed data, tag properties and annotations, as well as events. Next is the ODBC connector. The ODBC connector involves two components, the ODBC service, which is installed locally to the Canary View service, and the ODBC client, which is installed on the client machine making SQL queries against the historian. The client can be installed as many times as needed and can be used to create a link server in Microsoft SQL. Canary offers nine different tables to request data from, including current or historical data, properties, assets, tags. The next client tool is Canary's Read API. Canary offers both a gRPC and a web API for clients needing to integrate with third parties. The gRPC API delivers a protoboff payload over an HTTPS connection. A .NET 8 example can be found by visiting our GitHub page using the URL shown below. The web API uses a JSON payload over HTTPS. Documentation can be found by visiting readapi.canarylabs.com. The last client we will look at is the Publisher service. The Publisher service is installed locally to the View service and is used for publishing real-time data to an MQTT broker using a Spark Plug B or JSON payload. The Publisher also supports sending a JSON payload over a WebSocket connection. The Spark Plug B payload is the most efficient of these options as it is serialized and supports Spark Plug 2.2 and 3.0. Let's review. In this video, we looked at the five different ways data can be accessed from the Canary system, including Canary's main reporting tool, Axiom. In each circumstance, the client connects to the view service, the gateway to the historian, to request data.